Hello and welcome to All the Boards and a brand new week. Before we get started on this week, and we have a lot to cover this week, just want to say thank you as always to everyone who came to our events over the last week. In particular, our revamped board games gauntlet on Sunday, where we hosted a variety of games from distributor Hachette Board Games UK, including Dinner in Paris, which we'll discuss a little bit later, Shamans, Acropolis and Mandragora. Everyone had a really good time, it was great to see all these games being played. And we're looking forward to the next one, which will be the 23rd of October for Thames and Cosmos. We'll put a link in the description below so you can check out all of the games that will be on offer for that gauntlet. So into this week, we're going to start with our game of the week. This was released on Friday and it is Amelia's Secret. This is an AR escape room that's augmented reality. And in this, you will be going around your house um, trying to pick up clues to escape the haunted manor. You have different tiles, each with different images on them. You scan the image with the app on your phone. There is a free app to download for it. And then it will give you a riddle or a puzzle to solve. Really good fun. We played the 20-minute uh, version when uh, we first got it in a month or so ago. We played that at home, turned the lights off, used the torches on our phones. Really, really good fun. We will also be uh, running this on our Halloween party weekend. So again, we will put details in the description below on that one so you can check it out as well. Next, we have some uh, new to us games. We have got from Ginger Fox Games here, some of their card games that they uh, designed. So we have got The Chase, uh, Richard Osman's House of Games, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? See, so these are classic TV shows that people all around the country love and adore and now you can take them home with you. They make for great stocking fillers or little presents for like Secret Santa and, like, and the like, um, and they're perfect for the whole family. Uh, we've got the House of Games at home, um, really looking forward to playing that one, but those are now in stock and we will have more uh, as we draw closer to Christmas. For our board games challenge, we have Trails. So we've been running it all month and this is the last week to get in and try and get your score on the board. The current score to beat is 44 and if you want to uh, play then just let us know. Come on down, pay £2 and play this as one of the games and then give us your score at the end. The score is 44 to beat although we've now added a uh, beat the shop where myself and kindly my wife have played the game as well and we've put our score up there and uh, the high score being 47. So if you can beat 47, you get a little bit of something extra on top of uh, having the high score. So on to this week, we've got a few uh, new releases coming out this week. First one we're just gonna touch upon is Micro City, uh, Micro Macro Crime City All In. That is the uh, second sequel to the original Crime City game. And if you haven't played it before, we do have Full House, as you can see here, in our board games library. It's up on the wall, framed so that you can uh, play at any time. All the cases are in the uh, box itself. Um, so if you've not played before and you don't really know what it's like, um, and you'd like to check it out before uh, Crime City 3 comes out, then come on down and try it out. And if you do want to pre-order the third one, let us know and make sure copy is put aside for you. Other new releases we have this week are Hiroba. This is an area control game that plays in a similar vein to Sudoku. So it sounds like quite a puzzly little game. Really, really excited for this one. There will be an unboxing and a Let's Play video for this this week. So keep your eyes out for those on Wednesday and Friday. We also have, for the younger gamer in the family, Turtle Splash. So this is a bit of a uh, dexterity sort of flicking game where you will be flicking the turtle down into the lake he's trying to find his friends then you've got a bit of a memory game where you're trying to match the pairs um, on this grid here and as you do you move up on these tracks really fun really simple uh, great activity for the kids that is a turtle splash and then we have a um, expansion for one of my favorite flipper mic games and that is the meter autumn winter so this is a uh, expansion to the main game where you will now have two different seasons that you can play in. So it changes it up a little bit. Uh, you'll notice that there's still uh, many of the same dinosaurs on here, 
but it just gives you different ways to play. And finally, for our products this week, Dinner in Paris will also have a Let's Play video. So that will be coming up on Sunday. So we've got a lot of videos this week. We've got an unboxing for this, a Let's Play, and um, and Let's Play for this. And of course, we will be opening Turtle Splash for the kids to take a look at as well. So on to the events for this week. Um, as usual, we'll be running our weekly events, the RPG Club tonight, which is fully booked. We have our board games club on Wednesday and we still have spaces on our tables so if you want to get in and play some games midweek get that sort of midweek uh, lift then come on down we've got a really good crowd of people they love meeting new people love showing off the games that we have and generally just having a good time so that's Wednesday then on Thursday we have got our flesh and blood event it's the blitz format that we're reverting back to we had commoner last week which was a lot of fun we've got blitz this week come on down it's your last chance to get the promos for September before we go into the new month and we've got some awesome promos for that one as well then on Friday we have the home ed group if you've uh, not been to it before or you've not heard of it uh, this is a group where you can come along if you're a home ed family and just socialise with other home ed families, learn a whole bunch of games. And uh, parents, if you'd like to use the games as part of an educational setting, you can do so. This week I'll be sitting down with uh, some of the kids, teaching them how to play Matchy Coro 2. So if there are any games in the library that you would like to learn at the home ed group, let us know and we'll be able to set that up for you. Then on Saturday is our open play session, which we are fully booked for with our two usual groups. And finally, we end the week on Sunday with our RPG day. This is a uh, day where people can come together to learn a whole variety of different RPG systems, sort of other alternatives to Dungeons and Dragons. That said, if you would like to learn Dungeons and Dragons, we do have the community campaign that can help you uh, create your very first character and get in your first session. It's very new player uh, friendly, very accessible uh, way of playing Dungeons and Dragons. But for our RPG day, we've got Call of Cthulhu, which has now been fully booked. And we do have Dungeon Crawl Classics, which is this one here. It's a system that uh, is reminiscent of Dungeons and Dragons. So if you've played D&D before, then you're going to be quite familiar with a lot of this. If you've not played before, then if you try this out and then you try out D&D, you're going to find a very similar experience between the two. But this harkens back to the sort of classic days of D&D, roaming around in dungeons, really hard monsters. So that is uh, on Sunday, the 2nd of October. Everyone gets a free quick start guide that comes along. And we also have a couple of others that are free as well. Some adventure packs here with two level two adventures. And the Tomb of the Savage Kings, uh, which is a level 2 adventure as well. You also get a code in the Quick Start rulebook for a level 1 adventure, um, which you can download off their website. So that is everything this week. I hope you found that informative. If there's any questions at all about anything that we brought up in today's episode, or anything in store in general, just let us know and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the boardroom.